Okay, so all these terahertz wand people are telling me if I get a cheap one, it won't work. Here's a cheap one. It works. Take that off. Still works. They're telling me this is just a hot air blower now. There's no fan dangle terahertz frequency generator in there. So, I thought they might be right. That is an electric heater. It's blowing onto the water. And guess what, folks? The water's charged. Don't need to test it other than that because I've used this one. Charge the water. People have drunk it. We've done strength tests, we've done martial arts techniques, we've done disruption techniques, everything works fine. So we know the water is a little bit special and it will flood the meridians and do wondrous things that you can test immediately. And I've got a list that's about that long. So what I'm thinking is, in the real terahertz one, you got a crystal tube, which is supposed to be the old signal dancing business. In this room, I've got premium wand over there, energized crystals, ley lines, Qi Kong energy. So, the actual blowing of the hot air must interact with the energy, so it must be a medium that we're looking. So in the wand, the medium is the crystal tube. But you don't need the crystal tube here. It can be anywhere in the room. Or similar charged crystals anywhere in the room. Or a good location. So, a cheap one of these for 35 quid is a hairdryer. Add a crystal to it and now you've got a wand that will do healing, it'll give you your scalar field, terahertz frequency, it's all magic and it's all nice and cheap. And if you don't believe me, I don't give it. Thank you very much.